or finally getting around to the utility tab in DVD Base and the first button we have on it is Backup DVD Base and functionally this is identical to the previous video, video uh, 221 where we uh, did a backup using MySQL dump and the DOS box or command prompt uh, MS DOS shell the difference is of course we're doing it this time using C sharp uh, MySQL connector slash net and a number of uh, classes that we've used in the past the streamwriter uh, class is described a lot in video 81 the get today file name uh, routine that I created in uh, video uh, 94 which is the last video of the C sharp beginners course a seven video course and the process class which we went into and in extensively in video 120 and the process start info data structure which gets passed to the process class to control how it runs when you do a process dot start and this is described extensively in video 121 if you want to go back and look at those and then the standard output redirection which we showed in uh, uh, the previous video video 221 in the uh, DOS box or command line prompt and the methods we're going to use in uh, Streamwriter are right line and close which are pretty straightforward and the classes and uh, functions that we're going to use in uh, the get today file name are largely date time and specifically date time dot now date time dot month date time dot day and date time dot year and the reason we use these is we basically create a file name that has a base part of the file name in this case DVD base and then a concatenation of today's date and sometimes we want to create multiple files on the same day and in order to do that we add a qualifying letter like A, B, C, D and so on and we determine whether the file exists using the file.exists method and keep go going through the letters to uh, qualify it until we find one that doesn't exist and another uh, operator we use is pretty interesting is the assignment operator which basically is like an assignment with equal but then you have a parent and a condition and in this case we want to check whether the month and the day are only one character and if they are only one character we put a zero in front of them so that the, all the dates will come out nice and, uh, and even length and even more so than even link sortable so that when you look at them in the directory they're in the correct order you know zero one zero one for January 1st the first of January will come before 10 10 and so on and of course in order to create this file name we extensively use the uh, plus string concatenation operator with the string array of qualifiers of the uh, A, B, C and so on letters and the methods we use in the process are start which we've used a number of times and then standard output dot read to end which we've never used before and basically has to do with us redirecting the standard output in order to uh, take what's output from the MySQL dump and put it into a file and then we use the wait for exit which we've used before basically because process start starts a process and then our current process which is our current program keeps running and in this case we don't want that kind of asynchronity we want it to be synchronous we want it to actually finish writing all the the information out to the file before we go on so we make it synchronous essentially by calling a wait for exit on the process we create and then close to close the process 
and the process start info is really the interesting part in terms of, of new things. We use file name which corresponds to uh, the program we want to execute. So if you remember backup from yesterday, the file name would correspond to MySQL dump. And then we use arguments to specify the arguments to this uh, executable program. And in this case it's going to be uh, all of this. The minus u username, minus p password, the database name, and we also have another argument which I talked about but which I didn't actually include which is the minus h and host name which in this case is going to be localhost and then the two completely new things are redirect standard input and redirect standard output and we want to set this to false because we don't want to redirect the standard input but we want to set this to true because we do want to set uh, redirect the standard output in order to out write to a file using the methods in the process. And then finally we use the use shell execute set, uh, set to false and that basically says just execute a exe file and, uh, and don't include all the overhead of using the, the shell in order to do the execute. So basically the redirect standard input and redirect standard output relate to this character here. This is redirect standard output and the, if you, the less than version of this is a redirect standard input. So basically this functionality corresponds exactly to this functionality in terms of the command line we looked at yesterday. So if we double click on our backup database button, the first thing we see is we get the uh, file name uh, via the get backup file name function. And that function basically just gets the current date and uh, we have a string of unqualified file name and backup file name. And within the date we get, we actually don't need to get the date because we're not using it for anything but we get the month into a string, we get the day into a string, and we get the year into a string. And then we use this conditional operator to determine if uh, the length of the uh, day is one. And if it is one, we put a zero in front of the, uh, the day in order to create zero one, zero two, and so on. And if it's more than one, we just directly use the day. And we do exactly the same thing with the month. So that we have this nicely uh, same length correctly sorted in terms of a directory uh, set of backup file names. And then for the unqualified file name, we have the backup directory. We have the base backup file name. We concatenate these uh, date properties we originally had and then we take for the actual backup file name we take the unqualified file name and add the backup extension and all these uh, string constants are defined up here the base file name is dvd base the backup directory is the directory we saw yesterday in the uh, mysql dump via dos box which is MySQL, MSB, DVD base, and backups. And the extension is .sql because what we're really creating is an SQL script file or an SQL batch file. And the username for the database is user, which we created yesterday. It only has access to DVD base. It can't access any other databases within the system. And the password is password and the server is localhost and the database name of course is DVD base just a coincidence these are the same well not really a coincidence I want to be clear when I'm backing up so the next thing we do is create or fill in the uh, process start info information we uh, instantiate a process start info data structure called PS info 
we set the file name equal to MySQL dump, which is the executable we want to execute. We set the redirect standard input to false and the redirect standard output to true because we're basically going to take the standard output and write it to our .sql file. And then we create the arguments from these string constants, the database username, database password, the server name, local host, and the backup database, which is DVD base. And these are all formatted in the correct way with the minus U, minus P, minus H, and just the database by itself as an argument. And then we set the uh, use shell execute to false because we just want to execute an exe, not a actual shell. And then we create a process called backup process via process.start passing it the uh, process start info that we just created. And then I have a string called std out which is actually the name of the standard output in Unix where this all started from. Uh, and I was a little worried this might be a, a predefined name but I guess it's okay. And I set the std out to the, our backup process dot, dot standard output dot read to end. So this basically will take all the input that's sent to the standard output or all the output that's sent to the standard output and write it into this string. And then we take our backup file name which we created in uh, get backup file name and write that write everything that was sent to the standard output to this file via write line. And then we have a backup process dot wait for exit which basically says don't go on until this all finishes, this process of writing the standard output to this file. Because we don't want to do anything else. We don't want this process running in parallel. We want to wait for it like it's a synchronous call even though it's an asynchronous process creation. And then once all this is done we close the uh, backup file and we close the process. And I pop up a message box that says uh, the DVD base was backed up to file and the file name we created with git file. And all this is within a try catch block because if any of this fails we want to throw an exception and then print out that it failed and print out the uh, message that says why it failed with the ex dot message where ex is the IO exception. So if we use uh, Explorer to Windows Explorer to go to the uh, backup uh, directory we have MySQL, MSB, DVD base backups and these are the two backups that we've done so far. This one we did yesterday with the uh, DOS box uh, MySQL dump execution. And this is a previous test one that's actually in the format we're going to see. So no, nothing for today, which is the 19th. This would be uh, 2013-07-19 for today. So nothing up our sleeves. We'll see if we create our backup file. Let's compile and run this program. Yeah, the WAMP server is running. Go to the utility. Click on the backup database. And you see almost immediately we get the message box. DVD base backed up to file and then the long file ne directory name and DVD base 2013-07-19 and I say OK and if I were to click this button again our git file name would then uh, append a uh, qualifier that says this file already exists so I'm going to create the next one with a qualifier and I'd say OK and if I click it yet another time we get the next qualifier which is B and so on using the file dot exists and the uh, concatenation with the qualifier string concatenation 
and if we look at the backup directory we now have these three files and they're all the same length as the files we created previously because hopefully they're identical batch files. If I double click on this you can see it's a batch file that basically drops the tables and then recreates the tables in the correct format with the correct constraints and everything keys and constraints and then does a insert into that re reproduces all the values that are currently in the database which is something like 700 for the DVDs table and if we go down to the other tables it drops and creates the genre table and does an insert to recreate these genres which I think there's what uh, 98 genres now and then it drops and uh, creates the uh, location table and does an insert of all the values for location which I guess there's currently 12 locations so we have indeed created the uh, backup file using process and uh, process start info and and stream writer and C sharp rather than using the command line in the DOS box so we now have a working uh, backup database button well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe